All right, we're looking at the back of the 5017 and the ins and outs. Uh, we have a microphone input right here on an XLR connector. We have a microphone output on a TRS connector. The direct input is on the front of the unit, but when you use the blend control, the uh, line out comes out right here on this XLR connector. Also available on the back is a phantom power 48 volt switch for your microphones. And if you need it, uh, there's a ground lift switch. In this example, we have a microphone in front of our artist that's uh, connected to the microphone input. And then we have that split out to a guitar pedal that's a, a reverb effect. And that's coming back in on the instrument input. And uh, we have two outputs coming out, uh, so they're on their own channels. Uh, and let's gain them up. Let's hear what we've got on the microphone. We should have the dry signal. Just like everyone. You'll Just see the like microphone everyone. LED will show us our gain for that. And then we have an instrument LED right here. Oh, and as we bring that up. This love is a fire. Burning up the And you'll hear desires. the vocal reverb delay effect. Of our youth. Um, other options available to us in this mode is we have a silk mode, which will give us that old school kind of Neve sound, a thick. My heart like we also have a compressor, and the compressor has an LED right here. If we engage it, like it, as we adjust the threshold again, down, the compressor will show us if we're oh, hitting at all. We were so young, just like everyone. Sounds pretty good. Just and like then on the microphone, we have the uh, uh, availability of putting in a high pass filter, oh, which will kind of clean up all those low signals. Burning up the desires. And that's oh, how you use uh, the 5017 to, to do um, vocal with vocal effects.